time is now 10.04 p.m. Central Standard Time, August 7th, 2014. And I absolutely did not. One of the stories of the many stories in the setup Catch-22s they keep trying to set me up for is that I decided to just take myself off of Synthroid, etc. And that it was never prescribed to me by Dr. McIntyre or Dr. Lockman. And at a low dose, a very, very low dose, even lower than the 25 micrograms, supposedly, so it was being compounded. They're at 9.37 micrograms. They're at 6.25 micrograms, the lowest I remember taking. A quarter of what they normally have prepared, which is 25 micrograms in the um, generics. Levothyroxine is generic for Synthroid. Sometimes it has the E at the end, sometimes it does not. And um, I remember learning in law and business classes that just because somebody tells you they'd rather you shred something or what have you does not mean that they have authority to be enforcing that upon you, especially under certain circumstances such as this. Um, so this is just from earlier in the week. And it's been part of setups catch-22 setups, and, uh, you know, I cannot trust that, and I don't. I'm being held here against my will, in effect, and it's been very, very manipulated, and I just looked at the calendar again I was concerned about from another pharmacy, and um, it looks like I'm not going to be safe to leave until relatively safe until the 28th, and I'm not being relatively safe to stay either. I'm not relatively safe inside the house, and I'm not relatively safe outside the house. And, um, none of this is legitimate. And how can anybody feel comfortable taking some pill from somebody who keeps changing their story, um, prescribing you things, telling you you don't need them anymore, telling you you need them when you feel fine, telling you you don't need them when you're begging for help, that you don't feel in balance and fine, and you, they tell you then you don't need any help, just rest in bed. You get stuck in bed for months on end. You get stories about how you have some Hashimoto's encephalopathy, also known as steroid-responsive encephalopathy associated with thyroiditis. But then you find out in your case, at least some other cases known um, to some of the people at least on the inside, um, that it's been used as a cover-up diagnosis for being particularly hit by the, quote, non-lethal weapons testing, the non-consensual human experimentation, and I've been effectively trapped inside this house, supposedly for, for now well over a week. Dr. McIntyre just cannot find the car keys for the car that was cleared for me to drive, etc.